these are some fun facts. I, I, I don't want to be the downer here, but something to also consider as far as the overall path to medical school and the path for medical education uh, is, is student debt. Uh, the average educational debt of the class of 2013, this number's actually gone up a little bit. Uh, the numbers are still a little bit fuzzy. It takes some time for the Department of Education to actually like verify numbers. Um, you know, it was around $180,000. So that's the average educational debt. In fact, 80% of students reported debts greater than 100K and about 43%, so about 45% right now, are reporting debts above $200,000. So it's a big number when you start to think about it. I mean, medical school right now is roughly costing about $300,000 for uh, the private medical schools. That's including, um, that's what we, what's, what, what's referred to as the cost of attendance. So that's not just the tuition, that's your you know, room and board, your living expenses, the insurance that a medical student has to buy. In fact, when you're in your third and fourth years of med school, you actually have to pay for insurance since you're interacting with patients. So, you know, it, it, is, a, it is a relatively heavy financial burden. Uh, I know plenty of places in the United States where you can buy a really, really nice house for $300,000. Uh, so, you know, there's that to consider. Uh, not that you would want or you should, and I'll be very, very clear here, you should not be going into medicine purely for the money, right? That is a very ignoble reason and an ignoble driver for wanting to go into medicine. But the reward, of course, is that the average salaries for physicians tend to be on the higher end of the scale. So, you know, the highest number right now is anesthesiology. Uh, you know, roughly the average salary in the U.S. is around $430,000 or so. So that's a very, very good sizable income. As I said, you don't want to be going to medicine for the purposes of just making money, but something to uh, something to be considering along the way is that there is a return on investment, right? That return on investment is definitely there. And something to also remember, it's not just about, you know, the return on the investment, but there is a, and will continue to be a, a need for physicians, right? So the, the, the world of medicine is not going away anytime soon, especially with the population increasing, not just in the U.S., but worldwide with um, the, the, the population aging. So we have people living longer and longer uh, today than, uh, than ever before. Uh, it's, you know, it's definitely something that is going to be, you know, something, a, a field that is going to give you and provide you an opportunity for a good career uh, in the long run uh, as, it, uh, as it goes.